Hello and welcome back to the studio where I paint away the stress of everyday life in Wales and today I'm going to get straight onto this canvas. It's unprimed. Let's have a go. Let's see how we can paint on an unprimed canvas. It's a 10 by 8. I've done a little bit of outline in there and as you can see the palette is a complete and utter mess. Why? Because I haven't long painted this one there you go so if you want to see that one please press the i cards that'll take you into that lesson um but i thought well rather than chuck my paint away let's have another go <laughs> so i got some of my media mix which is available at the website www.clive5art.co.uk where you'll see brushes and mediums and all the other stuff there okay without further ado i'm going to get some of my burnt ember just there nice and thinly made i'm gonna add some yellow to it so i'm gonna take it down it's gonna be more like um a burnt sienna then i'm gonna add a little bit of red to it but i haven't got any so it doesn't matter and let's get some white let's put some more white on my palette i'm gonna thin it right right down like that look it's like a it's a like lovely um sepia type of effect isn't it it is but let's put a bit of that in look at that lovely color look at that lovely color we got and this is straight on into an unprimed canvas so you don't have to gesso i like the gesso i'm picking up some straight titanium white bleeding that in so it's it's always recommended to put gesso on the canvas but you don't need to really it depends on on you really um some people say they don't do it some people say they do and i thought well let's just give it a try today and i don't like breaking rules of my own but sometimes i put a, a, a an horizon line there as straight as i could possibly do it so i want to i need to keep to that if i can just a a sepia sky a sepia sky just mix in some of that Burn down, burn yellow with white. Trying to keep that edge as straight as I can possibly make it. And don't forget, when I paint, I sit at an angle. I really do. You can see, hopefully, on this view, how far away I'm sitting from the canvas where I should be sitting like that. But if I did that, I'd obscure your view. And um, so, there we go. So I'm picking up a little bit of that darker sepia colour. I'm just going to bring in a bit of that now into the sky and I think we'll paint this in just two colors today I think we'll just use the burnt ember and white and um, we'll see how we we get on add a little bit of yellow in just for flavor but other than that I don't think we'll we'll do much at all so just darken the top of that off just a little bit there we go I'm gonna bring a bit more white down to this horizon i'm going to get a blending brush blending brushes are available on the website again um and these just help smooth all those very lightly like tickle the hairs on the back of your hand if you've got any <laughs> and that's the type of pressure that you want it is there we are smooth smoothly 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 done there you go and don't let that dry no you need a wet that a little bit it's always good to have a couple of those on the go especially if you're doing a lot of blending um or dry it off like that on some kitchen roll and um and then use your hair dryer and dry it and fluff it back up because they're no good they won't blend if they're wet that's all i'm gonna say they won't blend if they're wet so let's get a little bit more of this burnt amber there you go a little bit more of that burnt amber just changing that flavor up yeah and then bring in that in get, trying to get that horizon line nice and straight and if you trouble if you've got trouble with painting your horizon lines dry it off with a hair dryer and put some masking tape on there Thank you. 
Try and keep it as sharp as possible. <laughs> yes. Again, bringing some of that white back in now. I've already done a couple of pencil marks on you and to get an idea where I'm going to have my my breakers and things so I'm not going to paint over where I think they're going to be smoothing that off Sometimes it's lovely to play with paint and colours. Sometimes it's just nice to do something unconventional. And if you wanna if you can paint with two colours, even if it's just black and white, you'll have a bit of fun. So I just darkened that colour a little bit. I'm just gonna go under there now because I'm gonna be putting a little breaker in there, but I wanted to separate this from that a little bit put a little bit of shadow in there there we go I've got a breaker coming in you yeah. I got color across Take your time, enjoy it. A little bit more white over here now. A bit of a colour difference. I'm not picking up any other colour off the palette except white on my brush. So I'm just gonna smoothly bring that in like that. I'm going to pick up a little bit more burned amber. There we go. A bit darker than that again. I've got to be careful. I don't want to go too dark too quick. But um, here now I want to come in a little bit darker. There. I want to bring that up. There like that. Now, bringing in the white. Just white. And the colour that's on the brush. Brushing downwards this time. Leave a couple of them streaky marks. And you go along like that very lightly. There you go. A little bit of colour on the brush. Down like this. This is wet in wet now. So this paint hasn't dried yet. Get your blending brush, which you dried. This is just happens to be another one because <laughs> I've got a couple on the go. Just bringing that across like that, just to try and represent maybe some water shadows and things like this. I think I'm going to have to use a little bit of blue later on just to change the the colour of this and then uh, across that way a little bit. It looks like wet sand now. A couple of vertical strokes and a couple of horizontal strokes. 
and just keep doing that until you were satisfied that that's what you want. So you can go that way and or that way, break it up a touch. There you go. I hope you can see that. It looks like there's a little bit of shadow in that water area there. I think we need to let that dry a bit now. That's important. So I'm going to get the hairdryer on that, I think. Now what I'm going to do is a, um, what I need is a detail brush. Let me see if I can locate one. So I've got um, um, a number four detailing brush. There you go, a number four detailing brush is one of those. Um, I'm just going to pick up a bit of white just on that brush. I'm going to put it in that way. There's a little bit of discoloration into this white, so it's not bright white by any um, means. Um, just taking off a little bit of excess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to put in a little bit of white across this line because this is where my my wave is going to one of the waves that I painted is coming in. So there you go. I'm going to highlight this at a later stage. Bringing that across. Making it smaller as I go along. Like that. Can put a couple There's a couple in. In there as well. And just bring these little doers over like that. Just a little bit of emphasis on maybe there's a few little waves and things there. There you go. Now we want to bring in let's get a little bit of colour to that. Let's go into this colour. I want to make a nice wave. Okay, before I go any further with that, I'm just going to wipe my brush clean, get a bit of this burnt umber colour, and I'm just going to put the shadow of the wave in there. Just darken that off a touch. There we go. And let's get a bit of that white just on the tip of the brush. There you go. 
and then bring that across like that. Give some pure white in a second. This is just coloured white at the moment. Just cut it up a touch now and just, just get some lighter spots established. Here's my little filbert brush. I got a little filbert brush, it might be better for this process. There we go. A dark shadow in there. Picking up a bit of white now just to. this section off there like that. Back to the detail brush, a bit of that coloured white. Bit of shadow in. Let's go back into some of this um, burnt umber. Touch of black. Just want to darken our burnt umber a bit. I want to put some shadow in. Okay, this scene is actually um, in um, Goodwitch Bay, um, down in Tenby. Um, and it's on that part of the beach, it's got some, um, like, posts sticking out. I don't know what they are, but they look like some posts or something. So, we're going to... We've got one of these post things sticking out of the water like that. I think it's something to do with the sand retention or something. And there's another post there like that. And I got another post then like that. It's just, just a bit of dark colour I've got. And we got another post. 
then like that. We got this one. It's bent and fallen over like that. And uh, we got a couple of little dippy doers like that. There's a bit of a couple of planks going across there like this. And another dippy doer there. That's it really. <laughs> so we can put a few shadows. In the water like that. Yeah. Okay, so again, let's get some of this water. It's all breaking around there like that. This is coming in and it's going. This. You're the seagulls. <laughs> I was telling you on another video that um, I got there far from the course, or was it this one? I can't remember now. I made a couple today, so um, I'm just putting some highlights in. You're the seagulls, actually. That was really, really funny. Just a couple of little highlights here and there, like this. Let's get a bit of colour into there now. Dragging that across, like this. Let's put some. Colour there. Let's put a little bit of a uh, shadow in there. I'll put a little bit of a shadow. There, like that, and a bit of white. Just put some detail now, really. And get some thick blobs of paint now on your brush and to put some foamy patterns in. You don't want it too flat. You don't want paintings too flat. Sometimes you can have a little bit of texture on them. There we go. Let's put a bit of texture up there. Let's just put a little bit of colour into that as well so you can see a little bit of definition and shadow there. How does that look? It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Tell you what we could do. Um, I'll tell you what we could do, I've got a little detailing brush here, a little bit of this lighter colour brown, let's just put a little bit of highlight here and there on these things. Get a blob of white and a touch of black. Paint it with seagull in. There you go. Beach scene without seagulls. 
Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please join me um, on a regular basis on a Monday uh, where I paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Uh, and this is a little painting of um, Goodwich Bay down in Tenby. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a try. And these quick little paintings um, are great for practice. So um, thank you very much for joining me in the studio and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Nice.